Welcome to the Solving Equations Podcast, brought to you by the Enrichment Division of White Lake Area Community Education. The purpose of this podcast is to provide supplemental instruction as a service to students and parents. Hi, I'm Al Caraba, a teacher at North Muskegon High School, and this is the first of three experimental podcasts on solving algebraic equations. This is episode one, which is solving equations using addition or subtraction. Uh, not only will this be helpful for the student, uh, but also helpful for parents helping their children at home. So let's get started. Equation solving, no matter what type of equation, basically falls under two and into two parts. Undoing what has been done to our variable, which is our letter representing the, the unknown we're trying to find, and doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. Looking here, you can think of an equation as a teeter-totter that's balanced. We want the teeter-totter to stay balanced. We want the equation to be the same always on both sides. Meaning, if I were to remove one box from this side of the teeter-totter, I would have to remove a box from the other side. Or, if I wanted to add a box to this side, I would need to add a box to the other side. So we always want to keep in mind that when solving equations, we must stay balanced. You must do the exact same thing to both sides. Let's look at four different examples of solving equations where we're just adding or subtracting something to our variable. Example number one shows x plus 5 equals 10. Everybody can look at that equation and, and very simply identify that x would be 5. We all know that 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. But in order to solve more difficult problems, we need to get a handle on exactly how to solve the easier problems. If we think of the two things that we have to do here to solve this equation, which is undoing what has been done and doing the same thing to both sides, I notice that 5 has been added to our variable x we need to undo that because we need the x by itself. And undoing addition is subtraction. So to undo this adding of 5, I will subtract 5 from that particular side of the equation. But because I need to remember that I need to do the same thing to both sides, keep my teeter-totter balanced, I need to subtract 5 from the other side as well. As long as I do the same thing to both sides, everything is okay. My equal sign is good. If I now look there, x plus 5, and I subtract the 5, all that's left on the left side of the equation is our x. My equal sign comes down. And if I take the 10 minus the 5 on the right-hand side, I'm left with x equals 5, which we knew was our answer just from being a very easy problem, but again, reinforces that doing the correct method there will get us that right answer every time. I undid my addition by subtracting from both sides. Looking at example number two here. Example number two gives us a subtraction from the variable. So from my variable x I'm subtracting eight. To undo subtraction we simply use addition. So instead of subtracting eight I'm going to add eight to that side undoing what's been done to the variable. I will also add 8 to this side. Negative 8 plus the 8 is going to get rid of everything other than the x on that side. Equal sign comes down. 15 add 8 is 23. And so our solution there is x is equal to 23. You can always verify that your solution is correct by taking the number that you get for the answer and putting it back in here. Does 23 minus 8 equal 15? And the answer is, yes it does. I know I've done the problem correctly. Let's look at these two examples which reinforce what we've already done. And we'll move through these a little bit quicker since we've already gone through the steps. Why add 4 is equal to 15? To undo our addition, I will subtract 4 but I must do it from both sides. That leaves me with y. Equal sign comes down. 15 minus 4 is 11. y equals 11. Checking my answer, does 11 plus 4 equal 15? Yes. 
correct answer. Our final example, example number four, another subtraction problem. Why subtract six equals one. To undo my subtraction, I will add six, which must be done to both sides. Y then will equal one plus six or seven. Does seven minus six equal one for our check? And the answer is yes, another correct answer. Looking at these very simple examples here gives you a good start in equation solving and will allow you the tools to solve much more complicated equations later on. Thank you for watching the Solving Equations podcast. Brought to you by the Enrichment Division of White Lake Area Community Education. We want your feedback. Let us know what you like or dislike about this series. Do you have a suggestion for a future episode? Please send your comments to Brian Barber at whitehall.k12.mi.us.